What's up, YouTube? It's Awaken and Say So, and I'm back before we get to it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you watch the full video, and always hit the like button because we are on the road to 1K. Let's get right to it, though, man. So, as many of you know, Clarence's older sister, Lee, has been Queen's manager since the start of her music career. But it appears that Queen is going to be changing some things really soon. Lee is still my manager, but I also have been trying to make some moves to extend my management as well. Um, I feel like it's been Lee just being my manager for years, and I feel like we've gotten to this point now, and I feel like it's time to just expand the team overall. Not just management, but just overall. Um, hey, oh God. It's really important. On God, like, look, the, th the thing about growing, you're going to go so far on your own. Then you need a team. And then that team, sadly, can only take you so far, too, because their vision is only, you know, limited to a, to a certain length. When you bring in new eyes, that brings in new interest, new new um, new interest, and new, new everything. So, therefore, yeah, this is, it's, it's always good to expand your team. You feel me? It's really important to do. Now, at the start of Queen's career, Lee got a lot of heat. People felt like she wasn't experienced enough to manage Queen. And some people felt like the only reason that Queen allowed Lee to be her manager was because she was dating her brother. If you guys know, Lee and Clarence at one point were really close, but they're not close anymore. They even unfollowed each other on Instagram. And if you guys have noticed, Lee has not been hanging around them as much. And Clarence and Lee haven't been cool for over a year now. I mean, we first noticed when she wasn't at Clarence's birthday party last year, and it seems like things were going on before then. So what do you guys think about this? Leave your opinions down in the comment section below should queen add to her management team but let's move on to this sure, next sure. topic with callie and duke now if you guys didn't know they were dating at one point which i'm pretty sure everyone knows that well duke posted a picture on his instagram and in the back you can see two pairs of rick owens in the back and one of them looks similar to the ones that Callie wears with the thin shoestring. They appear to be different sizes as well, but hey, maybe he just has two pair of the same shoes and he was wearing them both around the same time. But you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comments. I, I always should, but when y'all notice that type of stuff, that's crazy. Y'all notice the shoelace, bruh? Somebody had to be in. <laughs> Zoom it all the way in. Like, how do you notice that? How do you, like, you really have to look at her photo, go back to this. Or, like, hold on, hold on. Now, these shoelaces don't don't look the same. Y'all, y'all be doing too much with that, bro. Section below. Would you guys be here for a Duke and Callie reconnect? Leave your opinions on that down below, but let's move on to this next topic with DDG and his older brother, Dub. Now, a DDG lookalike is exposing Dub for setting up his younger brother. Now, according to this DDZ, the DDG lookalike, he's stating that Dub is the reason for this diss track that he dropped on Hallie and DDG. So he posted some alleged messages between himself and Dub. Dub states, allegedly, the security gonna come out in and get you. A N word, you need to clear my name up ASAP. N words is starting to catch on. I don't want that dirt on my name. So DDZ responds with, Bro, I told your ass to leave me out of the vlog. Oh well, don't try to throw me under the bus. Then Dub allegedly states, Under the bus, I tried to help you out. What the hell is you talking about? You going crazy right now because of me. You better clear my name up or it's gonna be a problem. The guy says, F you. No. This this situation might be real, cause normally I watch I, I watch all, all their channels. So normally when it's a skit going on, it'd be like DDG post post something, then Dub post something, and then whoever else included their their post they they have. It ain't been nothing else posted about that. 
So this might be a real situation. This might be some real, bro. It's crazy though. I'm not sure how true any of this is. So this is alleged, of course. But Diddy Z also went onto his Instagram live because he's stating that DDG and Dub are calling him. Look. Bro, it's really some losers in the world, bro. Like, real shit. It's really losers in the world, bro. Bro, whoever gave them niggas my number, I'm going to find out, bro. Like, real shit, I'm going to find out. My number is about to be changed. Whoever gave them bitch-ass niggas my number, I'm going to find out, bro. These niggas calling my phone saying, You're a cloud chaser hanging up. You're a, you're a loser. You're a bitch hanging up. Like, what the fuck? That's like some ho shit for real. And I know it's them. I know it's them niggas, bro. Dub, DDG, all you niggas, call my phone regular, bro. Drop the location. Dub, you're a, you're a snake too, bro, by the way, bro. You're a snake. This is this was all your plan. You snaked your brother out. I don't even know how this nigga's still cool with you, bro. But yeah, I'm going to find out who gave them niggas my number too. So yeah, I'm on your ass, bro. No I'm still not getting it either. Like, why is these niggas so pressed about me still, though? This might be real, though, because for real, like I was saying, I ain't seen them say nothing about him. I seen DDG say something about the other dude with the with the all black hair, but I ain't seen them say nothing about him. So this, like I said, this might be a real situation, though. It's crazy. Like, DG, you really that pressed, bro? Like, you really you really that sad, bro? Like, I know you sad, bro. <laughs> I know you sad, like, bro. You, I look just like you. We look alike, but I, I look like a better version of you. You don't want me to outpass you. You know my music better than yours. I'm more funnier than you. Like you really, you really, you really terrified of me. Like I terrified this nigga DDG. Like I really do. And he, and he knows it. He knows like, like goddamn, like this nigga, this could be the next man. This could be the next nigga, bro. Like damn, like he really scared of that. Like DDG is really shaking out his boots right now. Like really scared. Like that's why. Why you think all of a sudden I know y'all. I know y'all seen that clone shit. Like, a, uh, it's another nigga that looked just like him. His PR put that out so they could, so they could block me. That's what they trying to do. <laughs> Get me out the way. That's why they put that out. DDG's a, the biggest clout check. Why do y'all be want to look like somebody else anyway, bro? It be so many people that come out. Uh, the twin of this person, the uh, little dark looking like he be going, he be doing some the extra, bro. Like you had the Kevin Gay one, you had the NBA Young one, like, like, bro, be yourself, do the entertainment stuff, but still, like, it's like they they focus on that and have nothing else about themselves. It be strictly this that. Like, come on, bro. You're in the fucking world. In the fucking world, he got famous because he was cloud chasing. But he just don't like it when other people do it to him. But it's not even. I'm not even cloud chasing, bro. Like this is real shit. Your brother, the one. Who told me to do this idea? Your own brother, bro. Your own brother. You know what I'm mean? saying? So it's like I got I got the okay. I didn't know that you wasn't okay with it. I sat down with your bro. Your bro said it was okay. This is gonna be smart. So nigga, take the dose of your medicine, nigga. You were dissing niggas your whole career. You were dissing niggas your whole career, nigga. For no reason though. You probably think that that went too far. Even though I didn't see the whole video, I seen like a snippet of it. Somebody was talking about it with the Halley draws. That's going way too far, bro. Way too far. Yeah, if that was me, yes, I got an issue with you, my boy. What you doing? You can clown me all you want, but bring my girl into it. Yeah, you, yeah, you went too far. For no reason, this a little yachty, this a pretty boy Fredo, this and all these niggas. Your whole career, they got big off of it fuck out of here you a lame bro no cap so you guys leave your opinions on everything in this video down in the comment section below and i really want your opinions on this situation with queen and the management situation now queen didn't state that she was getting rid of lee she stated that she was adding to her management team do you guys think that this is a good move for queen again you guys leave your opinions on everything down in the comment section below all right y'all so i am heading to the BT Hip Hop Awards red carpet. At first, I thought I couldn't record because it's actually pre-recorded, and I'm telling all their business right now. So sorry, <laughs> but I gotta get out and get just uh, a little touch up for my hair and stuff. Y'all, I hate Getty images. They don't edit my pictures. Like, you know, like 
I don't like Getty images, but I'm gonna try my best to do a cute pose. I'm gonna yeah, see Getty. if Brooke can take Brooke can take um can you take pictures of me on the red carpet, Brooke? Yeah. yeah. Um Damn, so that y'all can see like how awkward I am. No, I'm not Brooke, don't fine, awkward, boy. but yeah, it's just kinda tough. Um, I didn't really have to dress up that much today. I have on like leggings. Bro, look at, look at this line, line for the carpet. I thought we was about to be the last ones, and we're not. Oh yeah, no, we ain't doing the carpet. Never mind. Wow. I don't think we're making. Thank you, thank you. Yep. They said they're holding the red carpet. In my opinion, ain't nothing wrong with her extending her uh, her management, especially when your manager, who is your baby daddy's sister, and they don't even talk. Like it's y'all probably not even talking the way how manager and you know a client probably be talking because of that situation. So therefore, yeah, it's good to ask somebody in just in case things go left. But catch y'all in the next video, man.